Hey everybody, in today's DIY project on a little craft in your day, me and my friend Court are going to be making some, what are we making Court? We are going to make all natural Play-Doh for your kids. We have been making Play-Doh, we made it a few days ago and it's still amazing. I love Super it. Super soft, just like the real thing. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. It's perfect. So this is what you're going to need to do to make this Play-Doh. The ingredients will all be in the description below on a little craftyourday.com. So Court, what do we need to do first? You're going to need a large microwavable dish and you're going to add two cups of flour that we already have measured here. So I wonder how much this Play-Doh makes because it makes a whole bunch and you know for a couple of kids and then you'll need like two cups of water which we already we've got everything pre-measured out today. It's really great. And then we've got a quarter cup of salt. How much how much olive oil or how much oil? One tablespoon. One tablespoon vegetable, vegetable, vegetable oil. oil. Got it. Got it. Then what else? One teaspoon of cream of tartar. The cream of tartar is just something that you can get in the spices in your local store. So it's yes. pretty simple. And then what color are we making today? We're going to make lime green. So more yellow than green. This looks orange. So we're going to use some more yellow than green. Just putting this in here. And then we're going to take a whisk and mix yes. it. You want me to mix it for yes. Okay, so you can mix this. Could you use a blender? Could you, I mean, not a blender. Could we use like a KitchenAid if they don't really have good stirring ability? You could try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want to dirty up anything else. So I'm just going to stir this together and when we come back, it'll be all completed. Okay, so we got our color consistency and what we did, we just used two different colors of dye that you can find at your local grocery store and just mix them together in whatever color you want. It's just food dye. So Court, what are we going to do now? We are going to cover the bowl with some cling wrap. And how long are we going to microwave this for? Seven minutes on medium heat. Medium heat. Okay, we'll I'm put just, that in the sink. We'll put this in the sink and wash it off. And then let it cool for 30 minutes, I believe. And then what we'll do is we'll find out next. Okay guys, so after it's sat for 30 minutes, it's going to look something like this. And what we'll have to do now is we're going to beat it with our hands and knead it. Need it. So Court, do you want to get started for us? It'll be a little messy and gooey at first, but it'll turn perfect later. Oh, oh feels Go fantastic. Ahead. So when we come back, after you knead it and everything, we'll just be ready to rock and roll. You'll just have your play out. Well, we got it made. We needed it for a while. We got it. You might want to add just a tad bit more flour. And Court, do you want to tell them about what you need to put it in? You're going to need an airtight container. So this Tupperware one works great. You put it in there and so it doesn't get dried out. Make sure to visit a little craft in your day .com for more craft tutorials, teen crafts, any crafts. We, we, we cook some too. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye.